Hey there everybody, it's RCK and I'm glad to have you back here again for our next episode of our Pangea game. Took a little break from it to finish up our Salinas series that we had. Now that one's all finished, we're back on this one in Nazca. So we see a global go up, we see Rus attack, a magic phase attack onto Tiranog, and the two lords here took care of those Black Hawks, as it's called the Winds. Uh, no magic sites found. Uh, we've taken control of the forces, as you remember from where we left off. Yomi is raiding us with the Dione he has left over. We've already taken this cap. We're working on the last few of his fortresses. He has nothing left but three Dione. He's moving around, and we're trying to counter him. And we're just moving behind him, taking what he uh, was at before. So there was one, two, three, four provinces we took back. So looks like people buy stronger. So it looks like we ran on that one. Looks like we killed a Dione here on this one, so he only has two left. And it looks like that Dione, uh, we missed that one. Okay, so there's an assassination tip. Killed our high priest. Unfortunate. We got it from an event anyway. We did a lightless lantern, so that's uh, 14 more research. And a skull mentor. Very, very lucky for us there. Uh, so those are two. Uh, I think the skull mentor is 12. Lightless lantern is 14. We'll double check. Uh, looks like the group of Miklin found our harpy we'll check and see what their bless is just as a quick reminder a very very large one attacks good plus four magic weapons precision plus three interesting shock plus 10 poison resistance fire resistance cold resistance defense skill three undying plus four hp one strength eight this is a huge bless blood surge through i know strength eight is a lot because you only get two pips on every time you so three blood or three earth only gives you two so i mean sure it's really really high blood but they already have blood surge on there so that's already or just one thing that's already blood seven and then i assume they went up to high earth on top of that to get the rest of that strength on dead leadership combat speed some more air there uh, so yeah huge huge bless form for sure i mean uh, i don't want it to there we go they're hitting for 30 I'm sure their uh, other forms are fairly strong as well. Undying doubles, so it will have it on both of their phases, Jaguar Warriors, and what they transform into. So yeah, it'll be very, very tough, very, very scary. Ozzolotls, whenever they make them, uh, walls are severely damaged. The other one is breached. This is what we're looking at here. Uh, so we still have this uh, throne here. Uh, hopefully no one takes it from us uh, other than that. This is still sieged. This is still sieged. We are storming 198. This one man adds. And a uh, thug. Moving the rest of our army over here. Take both of these citadels, which are going to be great. Mm. Just recruiting more uh, hierophants. Yeah, hierophants. Where are the... So there's a Dione here. I assume he's going to try to hit this farmland just to hurt us on income at this point. Because what else can we... What else can he do? We're moving and take 253 whenever he moves away. Uh, Miklin is looking pretty large. We know they have a big army here at 39. Uh, moving a small group. What is this? A lot of white centaurs. Are we moving you here? Oh no. There's Dione here at 216. What are we moving? Just gonna sneak you. Oh, where are we moving? It probably would have made more sense if we moved here with all those white centaurs. I'm pretty sure they can kill Dione. I don't know about being in a cave, though. That'd be kind of a bad fight. Uh, we're patrolling here. We're patrolling on both of these forts. So going on the capital and on 228 if he does decide to hit either one of these which I don't think he will where are you guys going and we're reinforcing 232 with a lot of great swords so we'll have one two I think we'll have we'll have four here on 238 four patrolling on that fort three patrolling here Okay, uh, what else, what else, yeah, Skull Mentor is 14 research, and 
How much is the lightless lantern? Well, I forgot Skull Mentor was more than a lightless lantern, but a Skull Mentor is twice as expensive gem wise. Look at 5 fire versus 10 death, and 10 death is a lot more valuable. Uh, we see a commander here at 166. Not a whole lot else. Research coming along, 716 per turn. Uh, working on getting enchantment 8 for mass regen and serpent's blessing. It'd be very, very strong. Other than that, what global? So, Mother Oak. So, TNN took our Mother Oak. Kind of annoyed by that. We will have to go and deal with him. He is our next target, by the way. Uh, Micklin don't want to fight a hell bless. Just a very, uh, not a very easy uh, terrain to kind of go after Baratos. So we decided, I decided against him. Arco has been our friend this whole time. So Arco and Machaka have both been our friends. So we, we like to keep this border here. Very nice border on that side. At least feel safe on one of these sides. Uh, Kalem. We could have done Kalem, but I was like, I don't know. Ethelheim still fighting over there. Which, yeah, as far as our next target goes, is going to be TNN. Just because they stole our global. We do have a decent border with them. They have two caps. I mean, this is this is all their land here, so they're pretty large as well. I mean, we have three, but I don't want to fight Tienan later on, I guess. I mean, they wouldn't be too bad. Minklin's definitely the worst later on, but he's already so large and his bless is so big. No one else is fighting him, so we wouldn't want to be the first one to dive into that. We'd want someone else like Kalum or Baratos to start fighting him first. Um, it seemed like a lot of people kind of sat on their hands in this game as well. Because um, I remember trying to talk Machaka into helping us fight a war. I uh, don't, I think Arco had a bunch of problems on his own. Kalem didn't really want to do anything with us. Miklin didn't want to Diplo with us. Alberto sat on his hands the whole time. So you either had people who didn't want to Diplo with us. Or people who didn't want to attack other people. Which, I mean, they're, they're fine if they'd never attack us. Baratos will eventually, but... Machaka... It was very... I don't know, it was very confusing on... I think Machaka's player left, and then he got a new player, and I don't know. I, it was really, really weird, but that was way later in the game. That was like at turn, like... Uh, so I'm talking like 40, 50 turns in the future. Um, Arco eventually just kind of... Just tired of going back and forth with Atlantis. Roos is still putting up a fight. But I mean at this point Roos is getting attacked 2v1 right now. This is why we decided to go after TNN. Because um, he's being attacked by Arcosophile and he's also being attacked by TNN if you notice this here. Uh, so we'll be able to kind of counter TNN from taking an additional cap. I mean that will put it even higher on nature. And higher on air. I think his cap gets air too. So Van Heim, Tiranog, and Roos is a lot of air gems. Uh, lots of area there. But we can kind of cut him in half. Stop his advance on Roos. Be really, really, or we're already good friends with Roos. Uh, so just kind of help our alliance there. Hopefully they can push back Arco. Um, and then kind of cut TNN in half by taking, uh, fighting for Van Heim here. And cut, taking this kind of area here will stop him from going any farther. Um, that's kind of the plan so far. Working on getting more and more dryads. Um, shaman's here, but decent amount of dryads here. None right there. Haven't really had these forts over here for very long. But yeah, we're going to really start focusing on getting a lot of dryads once we clear uh, this last bit area up and control these forts. We'll probably put another uh, fort or two up. Um, and we'll be in looking pretty good. 
anyone recruiting dryads? You are. You're not recruiting anything because we're out of money. As long as we're fully saturated on white centaurs, we should be okay. It's just close, so close. Um, we get seven a turn while also having a fort in our capering. So that was very lucky of us. So, also had to cut off these uh, harpies being made just because we're running so low on funds right now. We're making a couple uh, alquils. Or did we trade for alquils? I don't quite remember. Are we sending anything? No. I know we've traded some with Kalom, some different uh, gems and whatnot. I think we traded some with Atlantis. And we will continue to do so. I don't know if we did with Niflheim. I think Niflheim's player ended up starting to lose the war. And they just stalled a time or two. And by then they kind of called it. So uh, it's turn 37. Let's go check out turn 38. Hmm. Where the fuck is that? Okay, there it is. I was like, what? I was looking at the Nazca game. I'm playing Pangea again. Playing another Disciples game. Finished up my Zimbabwe game, so that should be showing up here soon. Uh, so we took another province with no uh, resistance. Here we took a province that had some uh, province defense. Interesting. Uh, our forces defeated the attacking Yomi, so very good chance that he had nowhere to retreat to because we took his last province. So he lost another Yom, uh, Yomi there. Uh, so... Where'd you come from? Oh, so this was storming that fort there. We failed to storm the fort. Super unfortunate. Um, but we did uh, not really put anything towards it. We just put some mean ads. So next time, don't just bring chaff. Or at least check the fort before you do it. Um, Akimono strong. Those whites are actually pretty damn strong. This chill three aura bane blades. Uh, 19 protection. Yeah, that's what that's what saved their asses right there. Um, oh well, we'll have to just go back and uh, take care of that. Just some bad events. So where did, so they, he did go for that cave there, and I didn't want to fight him in that cave. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move to 211 with the majority of our, um, are all of them? No. So we got some moving to 216, and the rest of them moving to 211, and then the ones that are in this farm going to 202. So the only safe provinces he has will either go to 200, 192, or 181. We're also going to keep patrolling on the cap. So we're going to have all of these here covered. And we're also going to move in with this, so if he does route, he'll have nowhere to route to. And that will be his last Ioni. Uh, not planning on moving back to take this uh, palisade. We're going to go and go ahead and take out these uh, citadels here. We're going to go ahead and claim this throne 2 plus 1 strength. is nothing to uh, laugh about. Uh, we need to start site searching this land ASAP. Hopefully we're making some pans somewhere. Out of money, for sure. Could have made another scout this turn, which we are making a harpy there. We have 25 gold to make one in another province. Could have been making one, like, right there. Just to use up the last of our gold. Uh, <laughs> can't make anything there. Can't make seed. We, we're very uh, poor, as far as it goes. We just have so much uh, resources we're trying to put into all these forts. We just can't keep up. There's something particular. So I am building a lab. That's probably what it is. I probably had to undo some of those just to build a lab here at 204 to afford it. Anything in particular? No, just two gems. So that's what it is. So we're going to leave that dryad mother there to afford it a turn. And then we'll move, uh, we're going to move this Pan Alistair here from 192 to 204 to go ahead and grow a fort on that province. Not really worried about him controlling Mother Oak at this point. We're just going to keep on, we're not going to throw 
waste or throw a lot of gems at him because we don't really know. It's not the first casting. He could have put a hundred gems into it. Um, which will will be fine. We don't we don't particularly need it, and we have just so much more land to site search. We'll probably be looking at twenty. 20-ish gems a turn anyway, so we'll be fine. We probably already make more than he does. Uh, need to start using our god for a few things. We'll have enchantment 7 next turn. That will give a serpent's blessing. We change thing up. Instead of going to enchantment 8, we're going to go conjuration 5, then enchantment 8. Um, Howl is a good one. Other than that, let's see. Nyad, uh, we don't really need Nyads. Guess if we want higher water. Mm, not a whole lot else other than Howl that we can cast, honestly. But Howl is pretty good. Uh, how many turns does that take? Probably wouldn't take very many turns at all. We might uh, be able to knock out these the next turn or two and then work on enchantment eight and we will have serpent's blessing which would be nice which i think yeah i'm pretty sure he can cast foul vapor so yeah serpent's blessing is gonna be great versus him because i don't think he'll have the magic to cast that uh cast serpent's blessing himself i mean he'll cost gems and whatnot to make his guys i mean he might have it on his bless but if i remember not all their mages are blessed or sacred so Uh, maybe using that hammer. Where did I keep all my hammers? I don't remember. There's one there, but you're researching. Might just be doing that just to ensure we get enchantment 7 in a turn. Okay, so that's turn 38. Let's go check out turn 39. Not a whole lot, just us cleaning up uh, Yomi at this point. Okay, so we took out the last Dione, only lost one of our Thug Hierophants here. Uh, well, I guess we can watch that battle. Just to see what's going on. Uh, see them all casting Iron Skin. So they're all at 28 protection if they have a Lion Pelt on, which most of them do. That one doesn't, that one doesn't. Okay, so half of them do. 28 protection is pretty damn good. Otherwise, they're at 20. They're hitting for 32 magical damage. Uh, attack skill 10. They're not blessed yet. They'll bless themselves in a moment. Oh, come on. They're also casting Temper Flesh. So he didn't bless himself. Did he bless the others? Yes, yes, he did. Magic weapons. Strength plus 3. Blood Surge. So 36 damage you're looking at. 11 attack, 20 defense skill, uh, 17 strength. They also have uh, all the resistances there. Magic weapons. All the elemental resistances. Cold being the least. Uh, that 50% night vision or just... Uh, yeah, they have 50% dark vision. Couldn't remember if they had that or spirit sight. I didn't remember taking spirit sight. They're doing a very, very good job at taking care of these guys. And when they deal in their second form, of course, since we have magical weapons, they're not that big of a deal. It's also very, very hard for them to hit us through our high protection. And uh, you can only hit them for 13, 15. Through our high protection and our high defense skill, because their attack skill is only 10. They are routing. So maybe around 14 ish. I like how we just ran past the things we're supposed to be hitting. Yeah, we already lost that one uh, Hierophant there. 26 damage. Oof, 35, 15 is in second form, and 30 took care of the job. A uh, very nice event there, getting a good amount of gold, a couple of gems, and a kite shield. We'll use that. Uh, Niflheim being attacked by some independents, and. Uh, Calum finding a black harpy. We're starving on 196. It's very unfortunate. Uh, very, very little supplies there since we don't own the fort itself. But it does give four gems. 
a uh, three being earth one being fire and we will storm it this turn moving everything else north on 209 to go ahead it's already cracked we're going to storm it with a bunch of thugs um, and a bunch of white centaurs uh, so i'm sure they'll be able to take care of that This guy's moving over to 237. We've already we're already building a lab there, and you guys are moving there just in case. Okay, uh, we need to move some centaurs there and some white centaurs moving on 198. We still need to siege that down. We already put three thugs on it. Uh, we need to move this sage off and just send him somewhere to research or site search or something. need to move out now that the diony are gone we're going to move out um start doing a lot more site searching we have a lot of our uh thugs and hierophants moving around now because they're taking care of everything minads and militia are going to attack 256 where are you guys going you guys are going to go on yomi itself to research You, let's say, Harpy, that's a Harpy moving that way. Making some more Lion Pelts, sneaking some White Centaurs and Thugs over to Yomi. What are you doing? Forging an Amulet, we're also moving some Shamans. Moving you there, I'm not sure. Moving a shaman there too. We're going to start our site searching. That's what we're doing. We're moving all these shamans around and start site searching for at least Astral 1. Do we have any pans? We're going to make another vine shield there. In the lab, you're sneaking. We probably should just search water and nature because we know he hasn't. So we are growing a fort. So we spent 35 gems growing that fort there in 204. Now we're sneaking down here to build another lab. I can only assume we're going to build another lab there. I don't see why not. So yeah, that's uh, going good. Hopefully we are... Yeah, it looks like we are kind of back on the recruiting train. All these forts down here are still recruiting now. Uh, so we had some extra cash laying around, I guess. That one's not. That one is. That one is... So, uh, yeah, probably could have sent those white centaurs there too to deal with those barbarians. But, oh, never mind. <laughs> We're good. The 30 centaur group here. Uh, 21 white centaurs, 9 centaur warriors. Yeah, they will take care of it. That's why I did not send extra white centaurs over. So one is all moving here. So you're storming. You guys are moving up. You're moving over there. You're sneaking. Why are you sneaking? That's a lot of white centaurs. Why are you sneaking? Why are you going here? Why didn't I just put you here? Not sure. Not sure. You're sneaking to the Yomi itself. Huh. I don't know. Interesting. I do not know. So, uh, these two forts are going to be gone next turn, and then we just have that one left, and Yomi will be out of here. Do need to start preaching some more. Get his scales out and our scales in, which are not too different, but magic would be nice. Luck would be nice. Our temp scales. Our uh, turmoil and sl sloth isn't as bad as his is. It'll help us on our income, too. So, uh, that's going to be turn 39, guys. Uh, that was the last turn I had for you, I believe. I'll double-check to make sure. Yep, last one I had for you. So, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.